When you talk about estate planning, you often hear the terms will and trust used together. They both have a role in determining who receives your assets after you die, but they are different documents that serve different purposes. So estate planning and elder law attorney Mindy Fellington wants to help explain. To start with, a will is what's called a testamentary document, meaning it only takes effect after you die. A trust, on the other hand, is a living document. It's valid as soon as you, the settler, signs it. You retitle your assets into the trust and you have control and access immediately. Your will must go through probate in order to be considered effective. Your trust does not go through probate. When you die, the entire trust can be administered and distributed through your beneficiary, saving time and money. With a trust, you can also create sub-trusts for a spouse, children, or grandchildren. You can set limits on how the assets are used and even determine when, if ever, a child should get control of them. If you have a will, you can still specify that assets be placed in a trust for your child's benefit after you die, but why take that extra step? With a trust, you can name a successor trustee to manage your affairs if you lose mental capacity. So how do you know what's right for you? If you have questions on this or any other estate planning issues, call Mindy Fellington with offices in Rockville, Maryland and Broward and Palm Beach Counties, Florida, or visit fellintonlaw.com.